There are many residents currently living at the carriage house. One in particular has helped her neighbors adapt after the tornado. She says she is grateful to be home after over a year of waiting for the rebuilding to be completed. Winnie Fankhauser says during the tornado she stayed calm and helped the others as much as possible. I didn't feel frightened. I don't know why I didn't, but I just never knew a tornado could be that big. <laughs> didn't know enough to be scared. The carriage house administrator says that she is a great leader for the other residents. Winnie has done very well. She was one of the first ones down so that she could keep everybody else downstairs calm as well as my staff person that was down there. I thought of tornadoes as being about a block wide and then to skip over them. And this one wasn't that kind. <laughs> and I decided the best thing to do is just sit down and do what they tell you. Then the next morning, we still, you know, you couldn't comprehend what had happened till you saw it. Fankhauser says she has a lot to be thankful for. A picture of her mother and father was recovered after the storm. I brought it up there to Augusta. I took it out of the frame and dried it off. And I'm just going to leave it in that frame to show that it survived. Residents chose Winnie to fill the position of the resident council. And so she is the resident council president, so thusly kind of the leader of the residents. Fankhauser has two daughters, one living in Indiana and the other in Oklahoma City. She will turn 96 in September. In Greensburg, I'm Jennifer Bro.